הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד. הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד. הנה מה טוב, שבת אחים גם יחד. שבת אחים גם יחד, הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד, הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד. שבת שלום. So the response back to Shabbat Shalom is Shabbat Shalom. It's the same response. So let's try it again. Shabbat Shalom. Okay. I'm so happy, excited, joyful, grateful to be with all of you here this morning as we begin our uh, Shabbat prayer service and also welcome into the community of Jewish adulthood two new Jewish adults who are joining our community as responsible adults. And we are going to celebrate with them this rite of passage called a bar and a bat mitzvah. Actually, I should say bat and bar mitzvah, right? And so this is going to be a communal experience. We're all going to uh, worship together this morning, led by these extremely competent uh, young uh, teens. And we're going to be using our sidur for our prayers this morning. It's a mishkan tefillah. And you'll see as you open the Sidur, which I recommend you all have one, and if you didn't get one at the door, go get one right now. Um, we have two sets of page numbers, which we use. So we're going to be using the blue uh, page numbers in parentheses. And as they lead us, you'll have opportunities to respond to them or join with them, but it's not a spectator sport. The more we are involved, the, the better the communal experience is going to be of prayer and joy and gratitude. So we are going to begin this morning with Matovu Alecha Yaakov. It's on page 290. And please sing with us. Matovu Alecha Yaakov Alecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Israel, Ma tovu, O Halecha Yaakov, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Israel. We're going to continue now on page 293. Jocelyn and Aiden are going to lead us in Nisim Bechol Yom. These are the daily miracles that we pray for, seemingly mundane words of actions we take on every day, but with chanting them and being grateful for them, we add meaning and elevate ourselves higher. I'm going to especially point you at the third blessing on page 293, which concludes Matir Asurim, who frees the captive. We are currently in a very special dark time where we pray especially to free the uh, Israeli captives currently in Gaza. So let us all bring our good intentions and our goodness and our gratitude to these important words. Ta'alanai, Elohim, Yumra, Ha'olam, 
who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night. Amen. Who opens the eyes of the blind. Amen. Who frees the captive. Amen. Who lifts up the fallen. Amen. Who stretches the earth over the waters. Amen. Who strengthens our steps. Amen. Who clothes the naked. Amen. Who gave strength to the weary. Amen. Who removes sleep from the eyes, slumber from the eyelids. Amen. Who has made me an image in the image of God. Amen. Who has made me free. Amen. Who has made me a Jew. Amen. Who girds Israel with strength. Amen. Who crowns Israel with splendor. Amen. Amen. We echo back to them in the English together. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. And now Jocelyn and Aiden are going to teach us some words of Torah on page 296. 298, sorry. Again, we echo back to them in the English. Blessed are, these are the things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come together. Ve mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. We continue on page 306. We sing verses of praise from the Psalms. Hallelujah. Please join in singing. Hallelujah. 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 El Bekocha. Hallelujah. Birki. Uzo. Hallelujah. Big Vurota. Hallelujah. Kero. Good Lord. Hallelujah. Let's hear you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beteka shofar, hallelujah. Benevel vechinor, hallelujah. Betofu machor, hallelujah. Beminim ve'ugav together, hallelujah. 
Continue on page 312. In anticipation of our call to worship, the Baruch Hu, I invite you, if you are able at this time, to please rise. Amen. Breathe. <laughs> We continue on page 316. Shalom, 
me arba kan fotares rotoli genu come miu le arteinu ki el poishu tata ufanu vacharta keraftanu le shimcha gadol sela ve להודות לך ולייחדך We continue on page 322, chant verses from Torah, celebrating our freedom, reminding us to fight for freedom together. Continue now with the prayer section that we call the Amida. It starts on page 323. Aiden and Jocelyn are going to lead us in the first few, and then we're going to be continuing to pray on our own individually, privately, however is your practice. You may use the words that are on this page or you may use the prayer of your heart. But in any case, when you reach page 337, at that time, please be seated. If you are able, again, I invite you to rise. 
Adonai, Stephai, Taitita, Ufia, Giter, Hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotei Elohe Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor ve'hanora El el yom gomel chasadim tovim Ve'konel ha'kol Ve'zocher chasde avot ve'imacho U'mevi ge'ua v'lidei ve'hem Le'man shemo be'ahava Melech ozer u'moshia u'magen Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham, Vezrat Sarah, Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mehaye Hako Ata, Rav Moshia, Moshi Haruah, Umori Hagashem, Mechal Kel Chayim Behesed, Mechaye hako be rachamim rabbi. So mel no flim, vero re holim. Uma tier asurim. Umekayem et umato. Lishene afar. Mihamo ha ba iluro. Umi do mela. Melech me'mi u'mechayem u'matz mi'ach nashua v'ne'emana talech ha'yot ha'kol baruch ata Adonai mechayeh ha'kol mekadesh et shimcha ba'olam. Shem Shemagdishim Hotobi Shemarum Kakatu Valia Rabieha Vekaraze Elze Amar Kadosh 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 Adonai Sevayot Melo Koha Aret Kevodo Let's go, 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 let's go
Se shalom Bim Roma
at the beginning, you know how to do it. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. <sighs> Welcome to Temple B'nai Or, to all of you, to all of you online. Let's, let's welcome each other, turn to the people around you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Introduce yourselves to the people around you. If you're online, you could use the chat like you were schmoozing at shul. Let's Let's turn in our Sidur, in our prayer book, to page 362 for Seder Kriyat HaTorah, for our Torah service. In any way that you're able, please rise. Ein kamocha va'elohim Adonai ve'ein kemasecha malchutcha malchut kol olamim וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. אדוני מלך, אדוני מלך, אדוני מלוך לעולם ועד. אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן, אדוני יברך את עמו ושלום. Avarachamim Eitiva Virtzorcha Etzion Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim Ki Adon olamim Ki mitzion tetze Torah Ki mitzion tetze Torah Udevar Adonai Mirushalayim Baruch shenatan Torah Torah Baruch shenatan Torah, Torah, Le'amo Yisrael v'yikedushato. Jocelyn, Aiden, here we stand on our bima, but I want you to use your imagination. So much of, of, of religious life is imagination. I want you to imagine that we're standing at Mount Sinai with our ancestors receiving the Torah, because actually our tradition says you were there. All of the generations of the Jewish people were there to receive the Torah. So you're standing there with not just two generations of your family, but all the way back, and God willing, all the way into the future. Because the giving of the Torah is a timeless event, an event that is always happening as long as our arms are open, as long as our hearts are open to receive it. So I pray that you too Open your hearts, your arms to this gift, to embrace it, this gift of Torah, which is more than just a scroll with words on it. It's our way of being in the world.
would like to follow along with the Torah chanting, we're in the other book, the Chumash, the Torah commentary that you can find in the pews. We are beginning the, portion, the Torah portion of Noah, which is on page 26 in the Torah commentary. To introduce our Torah portion, Jocelyn will be giving her words of Torah, her Divrei Torah. In this week's Torah portion, Noah, we of course have the story of the great flood and the ark. This portion teaches a lot about effort and planning. Taking care of the environment demands a lot of effort and planning. While preparing to build the ark, according to our tradition, as I learned in an article by Shimson Siegel, Noah became very self-sustaining, meaning that he used resources around him rather than wasting materials. 120 years before the flood, he planted the tree that he would later use to build the ark because he knew that building the ark would take a lot of resources and time. Noah purposely worked slowly while building the ark. He took 52 years so that people would rid themselves of evil instead of God having to send a flood to rid evil of the world. Clearly, this failed because the flood still ended up taking place. Taking care of many animals and the ark wasn't easy work. Noah didn't just pack up the ark and sail worry-free. He overworked himself in a sense for an entire year. I don't mean they worked all day and then slept at night. I mean that they didn't sleep for the entire time they were sailing on the ark, according to a tradition. They were too busy feeding all these animals and cleaning up after them so the ark didn't smell horrible. If you couldn't tell, Noah and his family were very determined to keep their promises to God by keeping these animals safe. This Torah portion can relate to me because the lesson that you can learn from Noah is how to work hard to achieve what you want. Just like Noah worked hard to keep his promise to God, I'm determined to accomplish so many things in my life. First off, I'm a competitive gymnast. This sport takes up a lot of my free time and I need to have a lot of dedication to compete in it. I sort of make promises to myself that I'll succeed and I work really hard to make these promises come true. I also work really hard in school. I try really hard to get high honor roll for each marking period. When I don't fulfill my goals, I just think about a way that I'll work harder next time and do better. This kind of success in life takes planning. This is a Jewish value called Seder. Since life is never accomplished, we are always planning. I hope this planning and effort bring me joy. For our mitzvah project, Anne and I knew that we wanted to do something to help out Israel. We set up a B'nai Mitzvah fundraising page through the Jewish National Fund. This organization is running a resilience campaign in Israel by supporting the victims and their families by providing them with temporary housing, counseling, and much, much more. 
Our goal is to raise $2,000 to help for JNF support more and more families. I'm so glad that we were able to help out Israel during these tough times, and I'm so thankful for everything that people have donated towards me. Thank you very much for this wisdom, and thank you very much for your support. In these troubling times, it's especially helpful and very much needed for us to support the people of Israel right now who are suffering. So I really appreciate this. Um, we are going to now hear Jocelyn's beautiful chanting from the Torah. And so for her Aliyah 1, I am honored to call up Martin Fox and Rita Louise Fox. Ya'amdu, melech ben Shlomo ve'ana v'riva le'a bat Yosef la'aliyah rishona. Baruch Atah Adonai, Hamzorah. Baruch Adonai, Hamzorah, Meolam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bocha Bonu Mikor Ha'onim, Venatan Lono Et Torato, Baruch Atah Adonai, Nosein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Ela. Toldo Noach, Noach, Ish Sadik, Tamim Haya, Fedorotav, Et Ha Elohim, Hihaleah Noach, Vayola Noach, Shlosha Vanim, Et Shem, Et Ham, Ve Et Yafet, Vetisha He Ha Aretz, Leaf Ne Ha Elohim, Vetimale Ha Hamas. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lono Torah Emet, Bechayim Olom Notah Besochenu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Nosein HaTorah. Amen. For Aliyah 2, we're happy and grateful to call up Joshua J. Fox and Erica Fox. Ya'amdu, Yael ben Melech v'riva le'a ve'ester le'a bat Yehudit ve'liezer hershel ha'aliyah shniya. Baruch Adonai Amorach Leolam Ba'en. Baruch Adonai Amorach Amen. Amen. Vayar Elohim et ha'aret v'hine nishata kishhi kol basar et darko al ha'aretz v'yomer Elohim lenoach keitz kol basar v'lefanai ki mal ha'aretz hamas mipnehem v'hine nimashita Et ha'aretz. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natamanu metorat emet, v'chayi olam atah v'hinu 
Amen. Probably a three. Excited to call Happy Mom Sam. Ta'amod Shulamit bat melech veriva lea la alia shilishit. Baruch Adonai Hambarach leolam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach leolam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Elohim melech ha'olam. Asher bachar banim michol ha'min. Benat ha'manu et terato. Baruch Adonai noten ha'torah. Amen. Amen. Aseh leha teva ate gofer. Kinim ta'aseh et ha'teva. Vehafarta ota mi bae umihut va kofer veza asher taase ota shelosh me o ama orech hateva hamishim ama rochoba ushlushim ama komatai. So harta se lativa the al ama tehale na mil mala ufeta hateva feti dai tashim tatim sheni mushloshim ta se ha. Melchalam, a share not a monitor at a met, Behe Olam Natab, it of Hino, Barachata, Donai, no tin hatara. Now for Alia four, we invite Jocelyn for the first time as a bat mitzvah to lead us in the blessing for the fourth Alia. Sorry, my bad. I'm gonna call you. Ta amo da bachura bat mitzvah, ana bat shulamit la alia la Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach leolam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach leolam va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bahar banu mikol ha'amin. Venatan lanu et torato, Barahata Adonai, no tain hatara. Amen. Vaani, Hineni, Mevi, et Hamabumayim, Alha Aretz, Leshahe, Kulbasar, Asher Bo, Ruahayim, Mitoha. Hashamayim, ko asher ba'aretz yidva, vahakimoti et briti ita, uvata el hateva, ata uvaneha, veishteha unshevaneha ita, umikohaha, miko basar. Shenaim miko tavi el hateva lehayo ita zahar unkeva yihiu barachata adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu Torah emet vehaye olam nata betohenu. Amen. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Yehelanu. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov. Simon Tov, who mazel tov, who mazel tov, a simon tov. Simon Tov, who mazel tov, who mazel tov, a simon tov. Yehelanu.
Yishiberach, Avotinu Vimotinu, Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sara, Rika, Rachel, Valea, Hu Yiberech, Et Anna, Bat Shlomit, Shahagia, Limitvot, Lata, Likvot, Hamakom, Velikvot, HaTorah. May our God who blessed our ancestors, Avraham Yitzchak, and Yaakov, Sara, Rika, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to Jocelyn Fox, who has reached the age of responsibility, and was called to the Torah for the first time. We celebrate the dedication that brought you to this sacred moment today. May God watch over you. May your mom continue to raise you to full adulthood, leading you to a life filled with blessing, the blessing of Torah, of Jewish learning, of Kupa, the joy of a loving relationship, and of Ma'asim Tovim, a life of good deeds. May you find favor before God and the entire Jewish community. And together we say, Amen. 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 So just like Jocelyn became a bat mitzvah, now we're going to welcome Aiden. First, we're going to hear his personal words about this Torah portion. And then following that, he's going to chant for us verses from the portion as well. Um, he is going to continue on page uh, 33 in the Hertz Chumash, if you're following along. And he is going to chant from uh, verses chapter 9, verses 8 onwards. But first, some personal wisdom with a personally adjusted microphone to your height. This week's Torah portion is Noach, which contains the story of Noach and the flood and the ark and the animals and the rainbow. After studying the portion, I have this question. Is Noah a righteous person? The Torah says that Noah is a righteous person in his generation, which was a bad generation. So was he righteous? I do not think so. Yes, he did listen to what Adonai said to do, to build his ark and get two of every creature, but I still think what he did was wrong. I read and learned from Rabbi Harvey Fields to, uh, that according to one tradition, Noah did not regret his decision to let his generation die. He didn't even think about all the pain he'd be letting happen by letting all those people die. Even if he did, it does not seem like he cared. What he could have done was ask God for time to try and make, to try and make a, all, to persuade the people to change their ways. But no, he built his ark and let everyone drown a painful death. He could have argued with God like his descendant Abraham. Also, what I learned was that Noah did nothing to warn the people of the flood. Also, as I said before, he could have told the people to be prepared and build boats and their arcs of their own, or to stop the flood completely. He could have told them to stop fighting or try to make peace between the people. He could have done a lot of things to prevent the flood, but Noah did not, and he built his ark and let all of earth die, let let all of life on earth die. Maybe this was a test by God that Noah only partially passed. The story of Noah speaks to me because of how, it shows how bad earth got, but it also shows better decisions could have made. Like, like Noah could have warned the people about the flood was coming to and prepare, but he didn't. Decisions have consequences, and all of our lives are full of decisions. For example, I, can, I tend to overreact with the small stuff because it can tend to lead making a bad decision like fighting. It, I can make a better decision like came to, taking time to think about it. Every day we have tests like God gave to Noah. I hope I can continue to work on patience and and so that I can pass these tests through good choices. For Mr. Project, as Jocelyn said before, we set up a fundraiser to help Israel through the war. Our fundraising goal was $2,000 to help the JNF to support more people in Israel. Right now, our fundraising total is $879, which is almost halfway to our goal. I'd like to thank everyone for donating and supporting our Mitzvah project and for supporting Israel. Thank you, Aiden. And we continue with our Torah. We invite for Aliyah 5, uh, Martin Fox and Rita Louise Fox once again. Ya'amdu, Melech ben Shlomo ve'ana ve'riva le'a bat Yosef. La Aliyah Hamishit. Oh. 
ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בוך רבנו מכל העמים, ונשאנו לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני נושאין התורה. אמן. אמן. ויאמר אלוהים אל נוח בני ואל בניו איתו לאמור. ואני הנה דימקים את בריתי איתכם ואת זרעכם אחריכם ואת כל נפש היה אשר איתכם בעוף בבחימה וכל חיית הארץ איתכם מכל יוצאי התיבה לכל חיית הארץ. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר ברוך אדוני, ואלוהינו צורו, אמן. ברוך אתה אדוני, נושאין התורה. אמן. אמן. Raliya 6, we call out this morning, Justin Fox and Maya Fox. Ya amdu, Shai Yosef ben Ya'el ve'ester le'a ve'chayarut bat ester le'a ve'ya'el aliyah shishit. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בער בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נושאין התורה. אמן. אמן. והקים אותי את בריתי איתכם. ולא ייכרת כל בשר עוד מימי המבול ולא יהיה עוד מבול לשחט הארץ ויאמר אלוהים זאת אות הברית אשר אני נותן ביני וביניהם ובין כל נפש חיה אשר אוך הארץ איתכם בי לדורו עולם. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נפלה בתוכנו Amen. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> Come this way. For Aliyah 7 this morning, we invite Mom again, Sam. Ta'amod shulamit bat melech veriv alaya la'aliyah shvi'it. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. אמן. את קשתי נתתי בענן וחייתה לאור ברית ביני ובין הארץ והיה וענני ענן על הארץ ונראתה הקשת וענן וזכרתי את בריתי אשר ביני וביניהם כל נפש 
Hayat Deho basar Lel hiye od Ma'am Le mabu Le shachet Ko basar Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Asher natan lana tarat emet Bechaye olam natah betocheinu Baruch atah Adonai Noten hatarat Amen Blessing for all of those who have come up to the Torah this morning. Misha Berach Avotenu Vimotenu Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel Veleahu Yevarechet Koha Olim. May the Holy One who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah bring blessing to those who have come up to the Torah in honor of God and honor of Shabbat. May they merit from the Holy One a blessing, protection, rescue from any trouble or distress. And from any illness, minor or serious, may God send blessing and success in their every endeavor together with all Israel. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Now for our last Aliyah this morning, we invite Aiden now as a bar mitzvah to lead us in the blessing. Ya Amor, bar mitzvah, Yosef ben Shulamit, La Aliyah, La Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Haani. Venatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vechayeta HaKeshet Be'anon. Or iti ha is court buried olam ben Elohim uven kol nefesh haya bechovasar asher aha arev vayomer Elohim el Noah zot ot haberit asher hakimoti beni. Amen. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Yehelanu. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, a Simon Tov, Yehelanu. Mishaberach, Avotenu v'imotenu, Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel v'le'ah, Uye v'rechet Yosef ben Shulamit she'hegiya li mitzvot, ve'ala l'ichvot ha'makom v'lichvot ha'torah. May our God who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing to Aidan Fox, who has reached the age of responsibility and was called to the Torah for the first time. We celebrate the dedication that brought you to this sacred moment today. May God watch over you. May your family continue to raise you to full adulthood, leading you to a life filled with blessing, the blessing of Torah, of Jewish learning, of chupa, the joy of a loving relationship, and of, of Masim tovim, the life of good deeds. May you find favor before God and the entire Jewish community. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have blessing from mom to both kids. Okay. Okay. So, pre warning. It's a long blessing. I'm from a family of speech makers, and you got one person and two kids. So, I get double. <laughs> so, you guys did it. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> you did beautiful. I'm kvelling, if you don't know what that means. 
bursting with pride. It was not easy getting here, but I never doubted you would do it. I wasn't sure it would be this beautiful. We went through a lot of drama, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of agita. If anyone doesn't know what that is, aggravation. You didn't want to do it together. You couldn't do it together. And then you came, and even the cantor had to admit you did beautifully. You worked as a team. That's one of the best things that came out of this process. You guys can work together. Now we know. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm going to talk to Jocelyn for a little bit. Mm. Jocelyn, in your speech you talked about being determined, which is interesting. We had a few choices of what to talk about, and that was your choice of what to talk about. And I have to say, you came out of the womb determined. Ugh, you did. Um, there, um, oh, I took my, the long version of my speech, so I'm going to edit. Sorry. There's a word, naches. It means, um, it's a Yiddish word that means pride. You give me so much naches, Jocelyn, you have no idea. Um, but it's not probably for what you think. Everyone here knows probably that you're a competitive gymnast, as you said in your speech. But what they probably might not know is that when you first decided to become a competitive gymnast, your gym said you weren't good enough to make the team. So what did we do? Did we quit? Nope. We switched gyms. Someone who was a preschool mom and preschool student here, sorry, religious school, told us they were turning, going up for the team, go for the gold. So we switched, and we made it, right? And you worked hard. You got medals, right? There was another setback in your gymnastics career. Your worst bar score ever, the worst score you've ever seen, I think in your third year of gymnastics, like a seven, and we did not know why you got such a low score. We found out why, and three years later, you're the regional bars champion. So that sums up your determination. You do work hard to achieve what you set out to achieve. And that's what truly gives me the nachas. So, not only that, I have to say, um, your determination, your intelligence, your moral compass, that's what's going to help you achieve great things in the future. I had to throw in the moral compass part because of what is happening in Israel. And when I look at you, I know that your determination is going to make life better for Jews in Israel, for Jews in America, and Jews around the world. If it's too much, I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> OK, Aiden, your turn. You talked about righteousness. Well, I'm your mother, so of course I think you are righteous. You were named for your grandma, Anna, and your Hebrew name, Yosef, was for your grandpa, Joe. You never knew grandpa Joe, your great-grandpa Joe, but he was a very, very good man. When everyone talks about grandpa Joe, the saying they say is, he would give you the shirt off of his back. and. You are like that. You would literally give the shirt off your back to anyone who asked for it. You're always buying things for your friends, ice creams, cookies. I had to stop this because all your lunch money ran out very quickly, which is why I know it was happening. <laughs> uh, but what really gives me nachis is not because you buy things for people, because that's not necessarily goodness. It's because you do it without expecting anything in return. You just do it because that's who you are. So, um, your father passed when you guys were one. I know you don't remember him, but I have to say 
both of you, in your own way, while you're very different from each other, have some of his best qualities. He also was a very good person and determined. And he converted to Judaism because he liked the fact that you could debate and have differences of opinion, which both of you have that. <laughs> and your father, Aiden, had the ability to make people feel good. And you, Aiden, have that in you. You have a, a laughter and a smile that when you let it out, can light up a room. So. <sighs> You are a good person, Aiden. You talk to your grandpa about stocks, right? You helped Chuck with his phone. You helped Uncle Rich, who I hope got on Zoom today because he's homesick in New Jersey, although he came all the way from Florida. And hopefully mm. he was able to get on this Zoom. <laughs> you're, you're very, very helpful. So my blessing and my prayer for the two of you is that as a team, a unit, you are twins for better or for worse for the rest of your life. And as individuals, together, you will with your determination and your goodness and the best qualities in both of you, work together to find joy for yourselves, peace and happiness for yourselves, for Israel, and for the world. And that's my blessing for you too. For, uh, no? Yeah, sorry. One second. Let's turn in our door to page 377. Please rise. Shalu shalom Yerushalayim, Yishalu ohvayich. Psalm says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. Avinu shabashamayim tzur Yisrael v'goalo barech et medinat Yisrael reshit smichat ve'ulatenu. Together, O heavenly one, protector and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. We say, amen. Amen. And we're already risen, so we're going to lift and dress the Torah. We call up uh, Tara Deering and Kathy Anthony to dress, help us dress the Torah, and Robin Jenkins to hold the Torah. <laughs> For Noah, or the, haf, the Haftarah is the reading after the Torah reading from the books of the prophets, means a concluding reading, usually reflects a theme from the Torah portion. Our Haftarah comes from Yeshayahu, from Isaiah, which is found on page 41 in the Torah commentary. But he reminds the people of the time of, no, of, the time of Noah. He says that. It reminds the people that the earth made a covenant with God, and God says, I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall there be any more flood to destroy the earth. And Yeshayahu reminds them that this is like the time of Noah, the time where we feel the world is falling apart, but there's always the glimmer of hope. The world will not, will not fall apart. 
because we are here to rebuild. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bahar Bimvi'im Tovim Zeratzach Bedivrehem Hane Emarim Be'emet Baruch Atah Adonai Haboher Batorah Umoshe Azro Uve Yisrael Amo Uvim V'eich Ha'emet Ba'tzedek Ani Akara Lo Yalada Pitirina Betahali Lo Hala Ki Rabim Bnei Shomema Hivne ve'ula amar Adonai parahivi mekom ohalev viriyol mishkenotai yatu altasohi ha'ariki metarai yitedotai hazeki. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם צור כל העולמים צדיק בכל הדורות האל הנאמן האומר ועושה מדבר ומקיים שכל דבר אהב אמת וצדק על התורה ועל העבודה ועל הנביאים ועל יום השבת הזה שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו לקדושה ולמנוחה לכבוד ולתפארת על הכל אדוני אלוהינו אנחנו מודים לך ומברכים אותך יתברך שמך בפי כל חי תמיד לעולם ועד ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת אמן הודו על ארץ בשמיים וירם קרן לעמו תהילה לכל חסידיו לבני ישראל המקרו Aiden and Jocelyn, it was an honor, it was a pleasure to study Torah with you leading up to today. And you taught us important messages from the Torah portion about determination, but determination is not enough. You have to have a plan, right? You have to have organization to get there. And you, and, and you taught us uh, about righteousness. And we can't look at righteousness as relative to everything else that's going on, or we can look at righteousness as, as a goal to to be attained that's above everything that's going on, and that our, our choices have consequences. I want to think about another part of the Torah portion that I think speaks to us right this second, right this moment. 
the end of the Torah portion, we have the story of the Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babel. And I won't get into the details of the story, but a lot of people see that there's a punishment at the end, that everybody was speaking the same language at the beginning, and at the end, God maybe punishes them, that they all have different languages, and they all go off and go to different parts of the world. But actually, I think if we, if we really think about it, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that there's difference in the world, that we're not all the same. And here you two are, standing up in the world today and saying, we are different. We are Jews. We are pledging to live in a different way that's against the mainstream, that's, uh, you know, countercultural. We are different, and that's a blessing. But then we could take it even further. Because a lot of people will say, oh, twins, you guys think alike, right? You guys are one mind. But obviously, that's not true, right? We heard, we heard from your mom and all of you, all of us who know you, know how different you are. So even within the differentness of the Jewish people, we can express ourselves Jewishly differently. Right? It's a blessing to be different, but it's a blessing to be different together in a community that's different than other communities. So my, my blessing to you, as you continue to express who you are, determined, who you are, driven, who you are as a, as a thinker, as, a, as, a, as a, a, someone who loves science, even video games. <laughs> but you're doing that in the Jewish community together with the, with the rest of us, with your family, with your community here, with the whole Jewish people which you too have dedicated yourselves to and dedicated yourselves to, as you told us all, in a material way, right? Raising money for your brothers and sisters in the land of Israel. My blessing to you is continue to stand up differently from each other and from the world as Jews. I'm going to add to that um, also pointing at the qualities that you two pointed out. And you talked about Noah being you know, righteous uh, in his generation, but then you criticized Noah and you said, well, why didn't Noah argue for this destruction of the world? Why didn't like Abraham, who argued against evil and fought for, for goodness to, to win? He didn't do that, right? And then your mom, who I have to say is fierce and, and brought you to this moment with her fierceness and did so, in so with so much beauty and so much, you know, like a moral compass, as she said. And she highlighted those qualities of yours, determined and righteous. And I have to say, you need both of those in order to speak up, in order to be righteous in your generation. You need to speak up, especially in this dark times that you're faced with. It's really hard to be in your age and, and hear the realities around you. And still, you have to be committed. Judaism prescribes that you are committed to doing the right thing. And you don't just do it by like knowing. Judaism has an incredible, infinite wisdom of what is the right thing to do. But as your mom pointed out, not just today on the Bema, but has through her years here with you, raising you in the synagogue, that you have to practice, that it has to be part of your daily life. It's not enough just to have the knowledge. You need to also hold on to the knowledge and act in your daily life according to that knowledge so that you can continue to obtain more knowledge in your future because Judaism does prescribe you know, lifelong learning. It doesn't stop because you're here, okay, we're done, we're good, we've reached. We, you, you never reach. Your whole life, you keep learning and you keep speaking up for the people who are weak and you keep speaking the truth. And so now with the rabbi, we ask on um, God's blessing upon you. <laughs> May the eternal one bless you and protect you. May God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you always find God's presence. May God always bless you with shalom, with peace. And we all say, Amen. Amen. And we all have blessings in our hearts, and so we're going to verbalize those blessings. But through the words of our tradition, thanking God for giving us life, 
for sustaining us, for enabling us to reach this joyous time. We ask that Jocelyn Maiden's extended family please rise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu Vekimanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechayanu Vekimanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazem, one big amen together. Amen. It's, it's our honor to call a, a representative of our board of directors from the Temple B'nai or Rob Pettinoff. Good morning. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I like how that works. I like how that works, Rabbi. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> All right. Very good. I'm losing my cue card. Mazel Tov, Aiden and Jocelyn. My name is Rob Pedernoff, and I'm here today on behalf of the trustees of Temple B'nai Or to congratulate you on your B'nai Mitzvah. I've known you both for quite a while. I remember, Aiden, when you were, were running around in preschool you were in the same class as my daughter, and I remember you too, Jocelyn. You were both very young, and Aiden, I mean, I'm looking at you. You're looking at me eye to eye right now. Wow. I don't know what that means for me. <laughs> You've both put in a lot of work to get to this point, learning traditions and prayer as well as studying Torah. Lots of early Sunday mornings showing up for tefillah when you may have preferred to sleep in. Why'd you raise your eyes at me? Is that true? <laughs> That's not true. I got cancer right here. Okay. And of course, all the preparation you did for today, what you have done is a wonderful accomplishment. But it is not the end. It is truly only the beginning. You are now responsible for living life the Jewish way, living Jewishly, being kind, compassionate, fair, as well as making your own effort towards repairing the world. Tikkun olam. It sounds so easy, right? But doing all those, all those things isn't always easy. You will have tough decisions to make. You know, Aiden, you spoke earlier about you know decision making and right decisions and wrong decisions, and but you know what? You're still gonna you're gonna keep making mistakes. You're gonna be wrong, and you'll be wrong too, Jocelyn. But that's okay. Nobody is always right. Being wrong is a crucial part of growing up and learning. If you learn from your mistakes that you make in life, there is no such thing as failure. In Jewish tradition, we often refer to the phrase Lador Vador, which means from generation to generation. Today, we celebrate not only your personal achievements, but also the continuation of our traditions and heritage. As you embrace the responsibilities of adulthood, remember that you are a link to this unbroken chain, entrusted with passing our faith, values, and traditions to future generations. That sounds tough, but Lador Vador is easy to start. Find something simple, for example, eating matzo ball soup, kugel, and brisket. That's Lador Vador. Jocelyn and Aiden, may your journeys through life be filled with love, wisdom, and a deep connection to your faith. May you continue to grow as persons of character and integrity, and may your actions inspire others to do the same. On behalf of the trustees of Temple B'nai Or, I would like to present you with these gifts. Mazel Tov. Let us begin to conclude our service, page 586 in the Sidor at the bottom of the page. If you're able, please rise. Aleinu l'shabach l'adon hakol, atet gedula leotze her breshit, shelo asanu kegoye ha'aratzot, velo hosamanu kemishpechot ha'adama, shelo sam chelkeinu kahem, vegohor aleinu kechol ha'monam, v'anachnu korim, Umishtahavim, Umodim, Lifne Melech, Malchehamlachim, 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Let's pray on 591. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding, loved each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech, and may we never lift up our hand but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, and the martyrs of our people, those who have died in these weeks, our brothers and sisters in Israel. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. The Temple B'nai Or family is in the period of Shloshim, first month of mourning for Alan Silverstein. This week marks the yard site, the anniversary of the death of David Oresti, Jack Auslander, Irving Bloomberg, Blumberg, Ruth Brody, Neil Cherniak, Pauline Fisher, Mariana Fisherman, Stella Friedman, Marcus Goldenberg, Earl Goodman, Leo Gordon, Jay Gorett, Anna Israelit, Virginia Kaplan, Sidney Keel, Jeanette Kleinberg, Manuel Litman, Litwin, Elaine Markell, Ann Matelski, uh, Sidney Mencher, Hetty Nashuller, Birgit Newberg, Milton Rosner, Leonard Sains, Rose Schultz, Millie Silverstein, Zena Slater, Fanny Stein, Jerome Sylvia, and Alice Weiner. We also remember, of course, Anthony Meehan, Joseph Weiss, Jean Weiss, Anna Fox, and Samuel Fox. If there are others we're remembering today and you'd like to say their name, please do so as I go around. May their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 598. Amen. 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 <laughs> Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'yalko Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom b'imromav hu yaase shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all of Israel, to which we say, Amen. Ose shalom b'imromav hu We invite our family to join us on page 604. Sam, come join us here. To the song. Oh, 
Now all the kids come pick up the candy and clean up the room. Let's go. I'm so happy that you're here. You're so great. We're so lucky that you're in this community. 